and then he was like can you draw the neuron and all of us were like eh? there are so many instances we are just burst into tears sometimes even on the word not that people guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl precious and i'm back again with another video and today i'm going to talk to you about my experience with surgery <laughs> the truth about my experience with surgery um i've recorded this video like more than once but then <laughs> it seems like the equipment wasn't the, the phone the camera it wasn't just cooperating with me because i recorded it a number of times but then yeah, the first time I recorded myself in half frame, the second time I was talking to myself. So, <laughs> hopefully this time it goes all good. And um, if it's your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, my name is Precious. I create content about medical school. I document my medical school journey. I'm a fifth year medical student from China, currently in Zambia. And I'm here to talk today about my rotation in surgery because I rotated in the hospital in surgery for four weeks. And if you're a returning subscriber, please welcome back welcome back <laughs> and yeah uh so um today i'm going to talk about my experience in surgery i'm just going to talk about my struggles my success like things that i succeeded in and i was proud of myself and also then things that i wish i did and then we'll talk about the books i used so if you see me looking this side that's because i've got my book where i'm reading from so yeah if you see me looking this side that's what i'm looking at so yes, yeah, so number one, <laughs> let's get directly into it. Let's just like, go straight into it. So number one, what I struggled with in surgery was like my basic sciences. So here we're just going to be hot, humble, open, and transparent. <laughs> it's just a fact. I struggled with my um, basic sciences, um, most specifically anatomy. Our consultant, our doctor from our unit like was really insistent like you had to know your anatomy. Like anatomy was a must and for me like i last did anatomy like four years ago so i think there was a time when he we were having clinic and there was this patient i think with a neurofibroma if i'm not mistaken and then he was like can you draw the neuron and all of us were like eh i was rotating with um three other students from a zambian university and then we were just like huh <laughs> 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 like we were just like all of us were and they had done a lot of them even more recently than i did but we we're just like what do you want us to draw sir but yeah and then another day i think that day i was actually helping one of the doctors screen a bent patient and then the word drone started so someone just like hey, go for the word drone so i go for the word drone and you know that moment where i just like i'm not ready to answer patients behind so i was trying to like be behind people so that i'm just not called upon because i thought like whenever there was a question like i was the one he turned to so i'm trying to hide behind and i just hear you come and draw the stomach on the patient of the bed <laughs> on the bed of the patient sorry on the bed of the patient i had to find a way to like revise my anatomy and what i did was i would draw like i would i would draw and or print if there was a part maybe we're talking about this part i was completely blank upon if we're going to have a surgery because monday was our like our theater day so if i knew we we're going to have a surgery i think i used to take some videos i might show them but yeah if i knew that we we're going to like have a surgery that day when it's a dead part like i would make sure i would study the anatomy of that so that i was not lost so yeah that was one of the things i really really struggled with and the next one was i cried guys like i really struggled with my mental health per se in like in IMED, I cried because IMED was the first rotation I did was like, I had not even learned IMED and I took myself to the hospital. So it used to get stressful. I would literally, I remember in IMED one day, I just like had to go outside where it, like on a bench and just cry. But like surgery was worse. Like there were just so many instances where I just burst into tears. Sometimes even on the word, not that people would notice. Some people would, some people wouldn't notice. But like I will just burst into tears. Like I was just like, I was, I'm done. Even at home, I was just like, I'm done. Why am I? I would come home from the hospital tired and start watching videos on people who quit medicine. Because I was like, I, ca I can't continue. Like I can't do this anymore. And one of the things that really helped me was having a strong support system. Because I remember one day I was just, I was just so low. I was just feeling so discouraged. I was like, I'm not made for medicine. Why am I even here? And I called my cousin and we got to talk about something. I said, no, she called to tell me about. But then we ended up 
like she ended up encouraging me I ended up being open and telling her how i was feeling and what was really going on with me and surgery and then she just like whatever words she said it just felt like she lifted the burdens from my shoulder so i would really advise like have a strong support system i think that's something i've heard even other people say in medicine like a strong, strong support system really matters no matter how much you think like you don't need people be open and sometimes you'll be feeling like you're complaining all the time but you never know how much like opening up will actually help but open up to the right people that's the thing if you ever feel like you are having overwhelming times and in medicine specifically <laughs> please hit my instagram inbox and let me know and we'll talk where i can be but like yes um one thing that i also learned was like when you have a certain thought of neck like if when you're going to a moment you're just having negative thoughts like the enemy is going to make them worse like you bombard you with even worse and you just have to stand strong and i think another thing that helped me was just remembering that if god brought me this far like if god brought me this far like for me i owe my medical school journey to god so i'm like if you brought me this far he's definitely taking me somewhere no matter how tough it may seem medical school is not simple for anyone so when you go through such moments talk to someone and yeah that was basically my second struggle my support system was just everything and if you're my support system during that time thank you so much i really appreciate it it's because of you i got to say there <laughs> anyway i also remember like writing verses because for me one of the verses as an encouragement for me is philippians 4 verse 13 he says i can do all things through christ who strengthens me so that really helped me like I would write it and put it on the wall and when things were just tough i'll just remind myself dissect the scripture and be like precious this is you you can do it anyway let's go to successes let's move on to something positive so for my successes one of the things that i was really proud of myself for achieving in surgery is i was more active in procedures and i was more confident to ask to learn so i think i've talked about this here how i wish i did more procedures or that and that and that and actually surgery i did obs and guy not much i shied behind even obs and guy but surgery is just like no we are learning i'm like at this point like same things i was not very confident in cannulating like drain blood from a patient i i saw an improvement drastically in myself because i just had to push myself and the thing is that no one did it for me like i just had to be like precious you got this you're going to ask and whenever the the patient the, the doctor sorry will be like no i'm going to do this to a patient whether it's clean uh, wounds of a burn patient or clean ulcers because one of the most common cases would see were ulcers i was just i was there with my gloves ready like what do you want me to do because i am going to learn how to do this procedure and i was very proud of myself that by the time i was leaving i kind of understood most things i was just like okay this is what we do if we have such a case this is what we do and yeah another thing about that i was very proud of myself during my surgery rotation is i clicked more patients although this i had to be pushed by the doctors because surgery was no joke guys like every obs and guy post call we would go home i think you saw from my pre my uh, vlogs like that i did in obs and guy like you would go home surgery post call you must be at the hospital by six in the morning you are going to present patients like that was on us as students like all of us students were expected to have a number of patients and the first round that we did like i would have one patient and the doctor would be like why why do you have one patient your friend has got four three and because that he pushed me to an extent where i started clicking and i clicked more and i presented more and at the end of the day it was all for my benefit because i was very happy i was like i felt like you know i improved even my confidence of talking in front of doctors it improved my clicking skills and yeah so i was really proud of myself that i really pushed myself to talk to patients if maybe that day i was not at the hospital and i would go in the evening and go and take a patient just to take a patient and i was really like i was like okay precious you really did well in this area yes another positive for me was i did more code days in series than i've ever done in all the other <laughs> all the other departments because i would not sleep really like obs and guy out of all the three weeks i spent there because i got covid after i was in obs and guy so i stayed only a few weeks i only spent like one night there but surgery i think i can count like i spent more than one night there because I, I tried the first two cold days i would go home and come back the next morning it didn't just work couldn't be there at six exactly so because of that i found myself sleeping at the hospital i was really proud of myself i was like okay precious yes we are being serious <laughs> okay moving on to things i wish i did more i wish i studied harder like you can never say you studied enough you can never be like okay now i studied enough for this so i really wish i put in more and more and more effort than i did but yeah it as i said it wasn't really the easiest rotation i think i spent 
most of it in tears aside enjoying it towards the end and actually the funding that when i was leaving said you were very sad i was just like how do i have to go <laughs> but anyway um also, I wanted to talk about the books that I used in surgery. So, number one was MK Notes. I think that was like my go-to. So, MK Notes is a, it's a, it's not of one of the doctors um, here in Zambia. His name is, I think, Moses Kazevo, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put it down and I'll put the book that I used to use, like the, the cover. But yes, most Zambian students use his notes. It's like a textbook form. So, it's easy because you find that most of the things that he talks about, the methods, procedures, the medications are things that are readily available in Zambia, so you don't feel like you're studying things that you will not come across. So that's why I really love his books or his notes, rather. And then another book that I used also was Arab Yes, I'll put the book here, and also Bailey and Love, Bailey's Love, something like that. Those two books really helped me. Like, I would either cross, like, study the same topic in other books, or cross and be like, okay, so then how I'll study from this one. But those are books that really helped me in surgery. And if you're going into your surgery rotation, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay it might seem like at the beginning for me i was just like eh? <laughs> surgery but at the end of it oh i really enjoyed myself in surgery like it was hectic it was um work 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 uh pressure but then at the end of it it all paid off i was grateful for it so if you are going to rotate in surgery you got this don't stress just study your anatomy study your basic sciences and yeah you've got this and I hope this video actually is going to help someone. If you know someone who's rotating in surgery, struggling, or just needs some motivation of some sort, please send them the link to this video. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. If you've reached this far, thank you, thank you so much. Please, please, please like this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We are on the road to 500 subscribers. And guys, we have to do this. We have to get to 500 subscribers. So thank you so much for sticking. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. This I had to do document. I'm rotating in surgery. Like, it's super organized, super strict. So I'm supposed to be at the hospital six hours in the morning. I'm post call. I could have slept, but I decided to go home because today is a Sunday. So I wanted to go home and relax, take a shower, then come back in the morning. But I'm supposed to be at the hospital six sharp. I've never walked this fast from my place to the hospital. So originally it's like 15 minutes to 20 minutes walk. I can have 15 to two, okay, around 15 minutes walk, depending on how fast you're walking and the traffic is when you're crossing the road. But today I have walked in like 10 minutes, guys. Ah, I have one my lung. Ooh, I'm gasping for air. I'm so unfit. But yeah, this is me. I know it was dark most of the time. This is me. I'm almost there. Hoping I arrive at least even two minutes before even 57. Because I can't arrive six hours or six zero something. <laughs> Guys, I made it. I made it. I made it. I made it. I think this is like four more minutes to six. I think by the time I release in this video, I'll be done with rotations here. So I can show you the hospital much. You guys will guess it. If you haven't guessed it already. But I made it.